So welcome Strategy Battle Games to another GMHL YouTube video. You're here with your host GMHL Damien and this is a bit of a tournament um, journey vlog I guess. Um, that we did for Seven Stones and um, did over at Nova and James did for uh, the Destination Stockport. And um, what we're going to be doing today is I am off to the Return to Rivenstead tournament uh, in East Grinstead. Um, which is a tournament I've been remarkably looking, remarkably, that's a stupid word, I've been com completely looking forward to for a very long time now. Um, it's strange because it's only a one day event, um, but something about it just um, captured me. I think it's because it's very, very late in the season and it's only worth 80 points towards the league, which basically means that it's very, very clear now over the last three years that league, the league will not be decided by winning an 80 point tournament. So because no one um, can really uh, no one can win the league by winning this tournament. It changes your opinion on what you take to the tournament and the kind of competitive, whether or not you bring competitive forces. And we've also seen that it's also um, completely changed the nature of who actually comes to the tournament because, again, because it's not going to be crucial for the league, a lot of the more um, regular names um, aren't coming to this one because it's a bit of a journey down south for a lot of them. Um, which is obviously awesome um, for all the for a lot of new players uh, who can come in and kind of players who don't necessarily come to tournaments um, as regularly. So um, it's particularly good, I think, because the last East Grinstead tournament um, that Sam run with the two-day event was incredibly competitive and was full of absolute um, filthy armies. Um, and of course, this one won't be, um, which is great. And I've certainly. Um, I've certainly uh, used that in my army building. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll talk you through what I'm bringing along with me a bit later. But um, I've looked down the list of attendees and the kind of, the filth, and of course, sometimes I include myself in that, most of the filthy players aren't coming. Um, or the players who would generally bring overly competitive stuff just aren't coming along, um, which should make it a really interesting day. Um, so I've decided to bring along a really kind of fun themed um, Battle of Five Armies uh, list which I'll talk you through again in a bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited about that. It's currently um, 7.45 and I've just left my home and I'm on my way to pick up Jay a chariot and he lives not too far away from me at all so I'm going to pick him up uh, for a bit of company and to give him a lift there and then we'll be heading off to East Grinstead um, and then when I come back I guess um, we'll talk about the um, uh, uh, the tournament and the army composition and that sort of thing and um, hopefully give you a bit of uh, insight into exactly how that's all going to work. Alright so we'll come back when I've picked up Jay. Okay, and we are back, and we have picked up Mr. Jay Acharya. How are you doing, sir? Very well, how are you? Very well, thanks. The first time on the channel? It is indeed. First guest spot, so I'm really excited. <laughs> it's not that good, big a deal. <laughs> um, and Jay will be familiar to some of you, as I think I might have said a few minutes ago, um, from J22 on your on speak for any question and uh, plan to and stuff. And you were James Clark's doubles partner, I was indeed. You carried him to victory. I did indeed. It was a big burden, but. Yeah, we got there. We got it's a lot to carry there. It was. So we are now um, cruising our way around the M25. Traffic all looks fine. And so we thought we'd come and give you a bit of a chat about the armies we're bringing and maybe our maybe our predictions for today. So Joey, what have you got with you? So I'm taking Els with me today. So I'm going for a. It was meant to be Thranduil's horse, but unfortunately I couldn't hit up everything in time. So what I'm going for today is Thranduil, and he's the Destacious Mount Thranduil, and he's got armor and an elf bow, and he'll be leading six Palace Guard and Spear, and he's also got three of the new Mercury armor. Elves, three of them have glaive, and three of them have got an elf bow and an elf blade. And then we've got Destination of Spark Legolas. He's got armor and elven cloak, and naturally he'll be my leader, of course, as well. And he's leading with him ten Mokud Rangers. Um, so the king's not the leader? Unfortunately not, no. And then, well, you'd probably say, why is this person my leader? I'm also taking Galadriel from the Lord of the Rings. Um, to add that with a bit of magical... The casting one. Oh, the casting yeah, right. one. Um, yeah. The, and she's going to be in the uh, sure it's the other hand. Uh, so there we go. You have to be careful. Can yeah. I? Oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's leading seven Wood Elves with Wood Elf Spear, four with Wood Elf Bow, and a Wood Elf with ban uh, Banner, Elven Cloak, and an Elven Blade. And that comes to roughly 750 points. Oh, so that's it? Yeah. So I was, when you were saying that, I was kind of expecting, I know Galadriel's obviously sat, sat up your little points there, yes. but I was expecting 
another war band. Or something. Something. No, because we've got to stick to the 230 points limit for two models. Yeah. Galadriel lost the Legolas, came yeah. to 230, 235. Is it, is it 240 or 230? 230, 230. 230. Um, and then obviously the Palace Guard are very expensive for what yeah. you get. And they took up a chunk of points as well. And actually the Mercury Ranger as well, taking 10 of them in the warband is quite a fair bit of points. So it racked up the points fairly quickly. But it's, not, um, uh, it's obviously a you know, fairly nice thing. Bit, bit of theme in there, but it's not too filthy. It's no like, no. what have you got, did you say about seven shots? I've got no, 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 no. I've got 10 Mercury Rangers. I ten, uh, sorry, 10 I, I ignored, right. no, I ignored that's, the that's Rangers. Okay. That's a horrible list. Well, I've put you well, well, Sorry, I, for some reason I'm like, obviously, you know, just glanced over. That's all right. I've got 21 oh, shots. Loads of shots. 21 yeah. shots, including Legolas and Thranduil. So a fair bit of shots. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. It's the Mercury Rangers that make. They do. They're, they're fantastic. They do, I've, I've used them a lot before, and they're just it's a terrifying amount of shots. I mean, I've played a couple of practice games um, with this particular army, and the sheer number of shots I've come up against dwarves, even Gondor, uh, and you get three, four turns if you keep backing away and play the filthy yeah, way. Yeah. And you take out you know, a good warband before they actually, before the lines clash. And with Thranduil in there as well, you've got that, you know, the nature's wrath, the war of dismay, you've got that potential to, to harm your opponent. And that's that's also, that's, that explains the points thing. I don't know, I don't know what happened now, I must have switched off. Uh, that's right. That. But the, um, you know, you've paid 50 points for Elven Cloaks. Yes. On those, on the range, so that's where... Those Which if you take goes. off, you could easily fit in another hero. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Max out my more bad. Yeah, absolutely. But no, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I've played a few games. The synergy between the army is pretty good. I've got a lot of fight sinks in there, providing Thranduil stays alive with the Palace Guard. Um, and obviously Galadriel with her, you know, immobilised, as we're always saying, on, as you guys always say on the channel. It's such a big spell. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, it's, it's one of those things, it's the, it's the best spell in the game because it's easy to cast. Like, Command is a better spell, yeah. but it's harder to cast. Exactly. And that, it's that kind of trade-off. Like, Command is, it, all being even, I think, is the best spell in the game. But immobilised, when you've got someone like Sam only cast on a 2+, plus, yeah. just to one dice it. You can one dice Yeah, and obviously with, with Blinding Light in there as well, if I do go up against another shooting army, I've got that. Bubble, which will protect me against yeah, yeah. yeah, opposing firepower. So, fingers crossed, it should do well. Um, obviously, it all depends on what army you play, what scenario you draw, right. and who you come up against. I think you could do well with that. It's a good, it's a good list. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, particularly, as um, I said in the intro here, because it's a very. the tournament's quite quite fluffy and not competitive. I think people will have less competitive lists. So, I think, you, I think you might do very well. Yeah, no, let's hope so. Um, how about yourself, Damien? Uh, hang on, well, before we get to that, yes. five games. Yes. Well, what are you hoping for? How many How many are you going to win? Five games. Uh, I'd be happy with three wins. Okay. Uh, I'd be happy with three wins. Anything more than that would be a big plus. Anything less than that, and I'd be a little bit disappointed with. I think uh, three wins at, with 20 people put, uh, put you about six, seven, maybe something uh, like top that. Top ten. I mean, I'm going for top ten. It's yeah. something relatively competitive. Yeah. Uh, I hope to do well. So fingers crossed it should, should pan out the way we want it to. But hey, all up to the dice, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. And the highest, three highest. Uh, myself, I am bringing um, one of my favourite kind of styles of list along, which is um, a fluffy Battle of the Five Armies list. And this is the army that I will be bringing to this event. Um, so I'm using my Battle of Five Armies board that I um, built last year for Desolation of uh, for the Throne of Skulls when I was taking the Battle of Five Armies theme, but with the Desolation of Smaug model. So back then it had all the old heroes and it had Mercury Rangers in it and it definitely didn't have Bayorn but I figured it was a good chance to repurpose it um, for this new uh, tournament so I'm going to bring it along in this and I'll talk you through my army now um, so over here coming from um, the autumnal realms of Mirkwood where gribbly spiders lie and Bilbo um, is hidden with blue butterflies running around his head oh. um, we have Thrandall Here's the Desolation of Smaug era Thranduil wearing armour, um, but not carrying the um, not carrying a bow. And then we have eight of his Mirkwood Elves, the new one, so not Palace Guard, just normal Mirkwood Elves. Um, three of whom are armed with bow, and five of whom are armed with glaive. And these are, of course, the models that I've been spending a lot of time over the last few months painting up. And it's good to um, finally get them on table. And they're led by the uh, Thranduil model, who's one of my latest models I've painted. Um, we also have this monster. Um, Bayorn, who I'm very excited to use. Um, I think I've said this in various videos and stuff, but I've been wanting an excuse to use him at a tournament for ages, and this seems the perfect um, one. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. And down here we have his um, man model, who I'm hoping gets off the board as quickly as humanly possible. Um, it's a shame because I think that's a lovely model. 
Then over here we have the um, army leader, who is Thorin Oakenshield. Doesn't have Orcrist because he um, doesn't have Orcrist at the start of the um, battle, at the start of the game. Yeah, start of the battle, sorry. But I have given him the Oaken Shield because I figure when he runs out of Erebor, he does have a shield. So having the ability to shield will be, um, I think, is fluffy enough. So yeah, he's got the Oaken Shield but not Orcrist. And behind him are eight Warriors of Erebor, which are obviously my conversions, which have been on the channel a fair bit. And they either have um, Axe and Shield or Spear and Shield, as you can see over there. And over here we have Thorin's best mate and his bodyguard, Bilbo Baggins. So again, this is the new um, model, but he's just representing um, Unexpected Journey Bilbo with the ring. So he doesn't have Sting, he doesn't have the Mithril coat, and he's the one might version. Um, but he's a cool little model that I've been painting up recently, as you may or may not have seen in a hobby vlog. And then finally representing the men over here we have Bard. And again, this model is um, Bard the Bowman. Um, sorry, the, the profile is Bard the Bowman that I'm taking. Um, not the Girion's Air model. But I've um, I painted up this one because it's more in keeping with the theme. And because Bard the Bowman can't lead militia. I don't uh, I don't think he can lead militia, can he? I can't honestly remember. Maybe he can. Um, but I've, I've um, given him the Lake Town Guard because he's the Desolation of Smalgira. So he's leading for Lake Town Guard. Um, so there we go. So I have my um, Bard leading the men, Thorin leading the dwarves, Thrandall leading the elves, and then Bayorn and Bilbo. Um, I would absolutely love to get um, an eagle in here and get Gandalf in here, and Dane and maybe Dwalin and some other bits and bobs like that, but unfortunately there is just not enough points. Um, but I'm very pleased with what I've managed to um, kind of fit in uh, a uh, 750-point game. Um, it's far from the most competitive army, um, but I think it'll be a lot of fun to use. The heroes are good, fun heroes. And hopefully I might manage to scrape my way through and win a game or something, <laughs> who knows. Um, but as I've said, I'm going for the um, I'm going for the theme at this event, and so I've gone for this I think nicely themed Battle of Five Armies force, um, which hopefully um, players or um, my opponents will have a good fun playing against, and I'll have good fun using. Not too many troops in the army. No, you know, it's not a, at all. it's the, I'll, I'll explain a bit of the thinking behind it, but basically it's a you normally either go all hero or a lot of troops up your break point. And what yes. I've done is gone for 500 points of heroes yep. and then a tiny amount of warriors, warriors so you can break me easily. <laughs> yeah. like, it's, it's what we always say is like what not to do, you know, don't don't take a few troops. But I've got, so my models, I think my model counts 25. It's not not that great. Yeah. Um, but obviously you've got a couple of big hitters in there who can yeah. know, hopefully carry. But I've also, um, I checked with Sam before, the, re the reason I've taken the old profiles is that I just didn't have the points. I wanted to try and make as kind of cool looking about the five armies as possible. Yeah. And if you upgrade Thorin, Bard, Bilbo and Thranduil to their new versions, I think all told it's 120 points, which then would just mean I wouldn't be able to take the Warriors. So I've kind of, I've taken the new models for the old profiles. So I don't think anyone will have a problem with it, no, but I've got, I've got the old models with me if but yeah. I, I was actually chatting to Tom about this the other day. Um, th so I've got the Desolation Smell Thranduil in yeah. armour yeah. without a bow. Yes. And I think the new Battle of Five Armies model probably represents that better, better. than the, the road one. Yeah. Yeah. It's got armour and bow. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah, no, that's true. I, I do like the um, Desolation Smell model. Uh, yeah. model the swords. He's just gone out of production as well. I wouldn't say surprising, but considering now there's only one model available for Thranduil. Yeah. It's funny enough weird. Yeah. But as we have shown, they are pulling things week by week. He's, a, he's a gorgeous model though. That, he that is really awesome. nice. Yeah, yeah, I, I really enjoy painting this. Yeah, especially yeah. the cloak on his yeah. back. Yes. It lends itself to a good paint job. So yeah, that's my force. Um, I've also done some stuff like I kept, I kept trying to make it better, and then go nah. So like you know, you, I was like, should I drop a Lake Town Guard and give um, Bilbo Steve? I was like, no, let's have the Lake Town. Like, shall I drop two Lake Town Guard or an elf and give Thorin Orcrest? I was like, no, I want, I want the you want the smashing of, of troops. And I was like, you know, I could upgrade a couple of, I could drop an elf and then upgrade two elves to Palace Guard, yeah. which I kind, of, I was quite tempted to do as a little bodyguard, but yeah. then I was like. Like, were they there in the battle? Yeah, well, exactly. Tall, yeah. It's like you don't see them there, and I don't think that would be filthy by any means. But I was then like, oh, I've painted up these mountain girls. I better use them. But the main reason it was all built around using Bayon because I I've never taken him to a tournament, and I um, I painted him. I painted him as soon as the bear came out. So I've had him painted for a year or something. Played any games with him? 
Yeah, I've played a couple. I played the scenario from the Desolation Smell book, the um, Alone in the Woods, which is horrendously yeah. imbalanced. Oh, yeah. That's all Hideous. I haven't got, got a, he hasn't got a hope. No, not at all. Against him. I think I had Nars like, do a wound on him in the first turn. <laughs> I was just going to, you know, in bed. Because like, he gets his re roll. Yeah, it's no. awful. But, um, and then I, I played um, Sam Page, and we got a battle report on the channel. Like about the five arms battle report from a while ago. So I've played him a few times, but I've never taken the tournament. So yeah. yeah, I was really keen to do that. Because I mean, he's a big chunk of points for you guys. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly if he doesn't turn into a bear. I played against them um, Camille Demanski once at, um, in Twickenham. Yes. I played a couple of games where I had him, and he, I played against his Goblin Town. I think it was. I can't remember if it was Lords of Battle or Domination or something, but he didn't turn into a bear for the entire game. Wow. And I managed to win. Oh, wow. Which was incredible. And the game before, he turned into a bear and I lost. Well, yeah. To be honest, he's not that bad in, in man form. No, he's good. He's big chunk He's like man. Dwarven. He is, yeah. But he's not 200 points. No, <laughs> that's no, the thing. That's true. He's, he's not worth 200 true. points. No, not that's man that's all. That's all. I mean, that's a quick comparison. What would you say is the better value for points? You get a true beard. It's very similar in that bracket. Bail. I... Well, they're very similar to the book, you know. Make sure when he turns into the bear. What does he get? Treebeard gets a six wheel, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Um, I think some of Bayon's rules are really nice. Like the fact he's fearless is is handy. He has Courage 7, though, in bear form, isn't he? If I'm not mistaken. I don't know, because he's fearless. Six. I don't know. Yeah, really he really loves his courage. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think. Like Treebeard's harder to take down because of the wheel stop, but then Treebeard's not resistant to magic, Bay one is, so if he's out of wheel, you always get that. That's true. The, I don't think the Berserk thing's a problem, because you have you don't have to charge the nearest model, you just have to charge if you can. Yeah. So mo most of the time you can just stick him in something, which is alright. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think he's cooler. I'd rather use Bay one. Yeah, of course. I think it'll be good fun to play with him as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of predictions for me, I will be uh, I'll be happy if I win one, I think. If Lords of Battle comes up, I might have a shot at that. What scenarios do you think favour your army? Lords of Battle? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, not a lot of them. Uh, like, I suppose Thorin's my leader, so he should be able to deny a lot of leader points relatively easy. Yeah. Um, Going for the win of this tournament. No, it's more just, just have fun. Yeah. There's an award, there's an award, there's an award for um, best themed army. Yes. So I've kind of you know I've been thinking more along those lines. Like the, my army select. You know that I can't do anything to win that, but my army selection is very themed. I brought along my display board. You've got it to as well. Yeah. Which looks very uh, fits the theme for your army very well. <laughs> it's nice to bring along to event again after rather than just having it gather dust. Yeah. And it's nice to have different models on it. To, yeah, different sections. You know, it's now like a battle of five armies theme. Battle of five armies as opposed yeah. to Destination Smell. Yes. So it was my, last year when I took it, it was better because I had like I had ten rangers instead of the elves, yeah, which else. is a vastly yeah. better choice. Yeah. No, that's true. The one nice thing that I'm really pleased with about this is that I've got the um, I've, I've got bard and three bows, so I don't have that temptation to sit, sit back, back and shoot you. people. Yeah. And it also means if I come up against blinding light or like um, my army, for example. Yeah, well, exactly. You've yeah. got to come to me. Yeah, you absolutely. can't sit back and shoot because it won't, it won't achieve you anything. Yeah. If I come up against um, Blinded Light or a Call of Darkness or anything like that, then I'm just going to—I'll just have to walk straight towards them. I, I don't have any—I don't have that other option, you know. So, well, it's meant to be a fluffy tournament, so let's hope we don't see a Shadow Lord hanging around. To yeah, be honest, it's, you know. Uh, Cam I know Camille's coming, and I think he's—he'll um, be bringing. Um, I Go imagine on. he'll be bringing Goblin Town and Shadow Lord. So he's my—he's my pick for today. Yeah. He's what, if you're going to be playing at the top tables, he's what you've got to come up against. Wow. So, yeah. um, that would be, be my turn. Horde of Goblins. All right. Well, that's some furious to come off for him then. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> cool. So, I think that's about that. Um, we will um, come back when we're at the event. And so here we are at the Dorset Arms, and um, we've just arrived, we arrived a bit late, and here is everyone getting onto their tables and setting up for round one. We are in the um, function room of the pub upstairs. You can see it's pretty buzzing, uh, lots of um, additional lighting put in, and lots of cool tables to play over. So we are about to get stuck into the tournament now, and I'll have my first game against James Goldsmith. I imagine we'll probably come back after that game. And so, part of the reason I was delayed this morning and we were a bit late is because I had to make a very important errand to pick up. Da, 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 da. A load of Freddos. Oh yes. 
have to stop and get these. And these are four. I thought it'd be fun for my opponents uh, that I have five heroes representing the five free peoples of Middle Earth, which are, as we all know, men, elves, dwarves, hobbits, and bears. And um, my idea is that for every time I've got five heroes, and every time my opponent kills one of my heroes, uh, they win a Freddo. So uh, there are five Freddos for each of my opponents up for grabs. So I needed a big bag of Freddos. So we got that, and hopefully I'll be um, handing out chocolate all day long. So here we are after um, the first game, which um, I got drawn against James. Um, our first game together. Um, we didn't have any time to film anything coming in, so we just rushed from the car straight into this. And we've just finished round one, which was whole ground. Yep, yes. And it's horrific. <laughs> Yeah, it was, um, you know, in the car I said I was hoping to get my one win for the day. Well, the good news is I've got that. I've yeah, achieved yeah. that. I'm glad you got it out of the way. Yeah. Uh, Thanks for helping me. Glad I could help. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was whole crown against James's Eastling Army, um, which was, do you want to run through what you had? Uh, I had Kamala on the Fell Beast with six cast frags, one of which had a banner, a dragon knight mounted, uh, War Priest, Eastling Captain, lots of pikes, bows. So the Felbies was definitely a worry for me. And it was whole ground and James got Rory, which as sometimes happens in whole ground, was one of the horrendous things. Yeah. yeah. That he got his army on in reasonable places. Yeah. But yeah. then when I reacted, I did roll three threes, didn't I? I used, used a lot of might to use three get might to get on. So what it allowed me to do was the crucial warband <laughs> was Thranduil and his elves on behind the cataphracts. And um in my move phase, the, the dragon knight was it was at the yeah. front of that um, of that little group of six cataphracts so I went nature's wrath and got rid of the six cavalry which was, killing one yeah killing one which I thought okay that's that's fair enough you know I got lucky on deployment of nature's wrath I then had three elf shots which I fired at Kamal on his spell beast two of them hit two of them hit they both hit the ring wraith yeah they needed six by fours to wound I rolled a six I rolled a four he had two fate with two might Two ones, come all dead. To an archer, where is he? Did he die? Did he not? Oh, he didn't he's die. Gone. Survived. No, he's gone. That's the guy. Absolute MVP. <laughs> Kills Kamal with one shot. So that kind of uh, set the tone slightly. Club, then Bard, and hits one shot. Yep. Uh, took the Dragon Knight down to Yeah, that was pretty good, with a black arrow. That was the first turn. All I'd done was walk <laughs> onto the field, <laughs> and I'd lost all my horses, my family, <laughs> my of course, crucially, you put this whole ground, the game's not over, you yeah. still had, what, 30 models maybe? Which yeah. is probably still more than I had to converge on the middle. Um, things went then a bit in your favour when I, I swamped the Dragon Knight with Bard and three guys, heroic struck, got higher than him, lost the fight, and Bard got slaughtered. Yep. So you won your Freddo. <laughs> you get a Freddo for every hero you kill, so you won a Freddo. And then we kind of entered the second stage of the game where we ploughed into the middle. Yeah, a little, a little bit of tentative. Yeah. It was, wait, waiting. it was waiting for that turn that you won priority so yeah. that I could move up ready to the right move next turn. And it came off and at that point the MVP switched to this guy, Bayorn, who was an absolute monster for me. Yeah. Um, playing against the Phalanx and he got in the side of it and just started hurling. Just the thing made it bowling for Easter eggs. I mean, yeah. it, it didn't kill that many through the bowling but he just took out all the support which allowed the front ranks to just... Yeah. And your Easter eggs actually put up a, a damn good fight. Yeah, I mean, like, so, like, they, they took... Um, Fate of um, both Fandral and um, Thorin. Thorin. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it came to the team. The defense six against my strength three kept, kept them in it for quite a while. Yeah. But Bayorn was just every turn hurling, killing a couple. Yeah. He did a heroic combat. Because I realised I haven't used Fandral, but because he can't, his heroic moves are kind of useless. Yeah. Because he can't affect other people. You might as well use his might in combat. Yeah. So he was just like smashing up. And I think Bayorn must have, he killed over 10. Yeah. Like, I shot him through. The Eastling Rush is actually. Killed a similar yeah, number as well. You're archer. You had six impressive. archers that must have killed. I think about six, six guys. Yeah. 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 Really, really good. Yeah. My defence four, the late town, the yeah. else. And then um, ultimately, yeah, Bayor swung the tie. Yep, both break. Same turn. Uh, which is when it went 
Because Thorin used his last might to kill your captain, so you wouldn't have any stamina. Yeah. And then they all just long and just disappeared. Um, uh, but still, you did a hell of a lot of damage, and I was essentially, as I expect to see in a lot of my games, nearly pretty much down to my heroes. I had 11 guys alive, um, which were Thorin, Thranduil, Bilbo, and Tayorn, and then a bunch of guys. You didn't really lose much of your door No, it's, yeah, it's, it's all the Lake Towners and the Elf. There's, I've got one Elf alive, all the Lake Towners are dead. And, um, yeah, so that was it. Yeah, it was a good, it's game. A good game. It's though. actually a lot closer than yeah. the first turn machine. It, it's one of those scenarios where even though it went really good against you at the start, that doesn't necessarily mean the game was over. Yeah. So, so yeah, thanks a lot, mate. Really appreciate yes. it. Enjoy yes. the Fredder. Thank you. And uh, good luck with the rest of the tournament. Cheers. And this was the final positions on the board after that game. So as you can see, Thranduil, Bilbo, Thorin, and Bayorn, with a few last dwarfs left around, all surrounding the um, prize, which is very much a prize worth fighting for. And this is James's fairly awesome Easterling army. So he's got um, Kamul on a fell beast, along with six cataphracts there. And then he's just got a big ton of Easterlings. Very nicely painted, great looking army. Turns out it's very confusing when these Easterlings are fighting my elves with all the gold and the red. They look a lot like Palace Guard. That was the army I played in round one. Very good it was too. Uh, so here is the start of round two, and I've been joined against Mr. Tom Seacombe. We've got a bit of an East Grinstead rivalry going on, haven't we? we where are we? Are we all one all, I think? One all? Is that right? Uh, you've won two. I've won two? Yeah. So, so you, you, you need this to even things do, up? Yeah. And what have you brought with you today? I have Isengard Scouts. Oh, Isengard. Led by Lurts. <laughs> Led by Lurts, okay. Let's have a look down. Here's how we set up. It's high ground. So we set up in two huge battle lines. It's going to be a hell of a fight. I mean, my elves, dwarves, and Lake Towners against a huge line of scouts with Saruman. Final on there. So it's going to be a hell of a scrap very early on. Uh, how come Lurts is your general says Saruman? There is a special rule for this tournament. If your army is from one faction, and there's also a bonus if Lurtz is your leader. Cool. And he counts as a banner for everyone for one turn. So hopefully that will um, be worth enough yeah. to offset the risk. Yeah. And we'll probably come back after the game. Yeah, cool. Talk to my t-shirt. Quickly swim, no. Hold the dice. Yeah. Okay, and so here we are at the end of round two. Um, after that, and which ended up in... Uh, no, let's not say, let's do... I'll, yeah. I'll put the clip at the end. So, um, what happened in that? It's a good game. We both started right in the middle. Yeah. Next Sword, Sword deployment. In a big long line. Yeah. Have so big scrap. Action started pretty quickly. I got, I got lucky in turn one. There was a right move roll off to charge Thrandall, which I won, yeah. which allowed Thrandall to get his terror bubble. Yeah. Which then helped very me a lot throughout the game. Because you didn't have a shaman. Yeah. However, on the other side of the table, Sharku <laughs> charges into Bale. Bale. Man Bale. I was like, okay, that's unfortunate, but I think he can deal with that. Man Bale chooses to roll a three highest. Sharku gets a six. So um, I was plunged into a fairly horrible design. I'm going to face six strength four attacks. Yep. Or use all three might. And Bayorn used all of his might. He did. Turn, <laughs> turn one. Turn one. To win and didn't kill Sharkin, which is a uh, recurring thing yeah. in this battle book. Um, and then we kind of mashed together a lot. Didn't we? Yeah. Um, There's two main models to carry one in. Trying to use Saruman to basically get rid of Thrandil. Yeah, I was trying to blast him away, but it didn't quite come off. I managed to resist it once. Yeah. And then you, you roll you roll a, you roll a one for one of his spells. Didn't yeah. You? you rolled a four highest and three, three dice. For, the, <laughs> no, for a social class. You have to use an extra point of might to get that off. Um, but it worked, but he didn't find a manage to hang on in there, and the terror was just huge in that game. Yeah, was like against Courage 3 Eurex, they just. I don't know, you, you were past the fair few, but maybe about a third, do you think? Third failed. Third yeah. failed, something like that. And thankfully, after escaping the clutches of Sharku, um, but Bayon then, on the turn that it really mattered, the next turn he did became a bear, into a bear yeah. oh, and started chucking stuff about. And like in the last game, Bayon was incredible for me. He just went um, chomping through everything. I don't think he killed quite as much as he did in the last game. He went smashing through, squishing at Lurex, a lot of him were refusing to charge it. And um, that went pretty well. You had then some good luck over there where um, I charged into Sharku with Bard to try and kill him. Didn't work, couldn't do it. I managed to surround Bard eventually. And he, it was three Uruks, wasn't it? Three Uruks fighting against Bard. Three Bowmen. Three Bowmen. Yeah, three bowmen. <laughs> and, um, and Bard choked and Bard died. For the second game running, Bard went down fast. So, um, 
Got himself a photo. <laughs> Very important. Um, which is good. And then basically it then became a kind of second phase of the match again where we were fighting around the objectives. And even though, like, even though I felt I was in pretty good control of the table for the hero that I left, um, it, it was very close in the middle. I had a number of advantages. Yeah. So I think I had about an extra third models. Hmm. And, and even at the end I think I'm, I'm going to you know, beat this on the field. Right? It's still something like, oh hang on. And there was definitely one turn, I know you had more models in this than me, which is kind of a bit of a worry. Um, but I managed to start eventually hounding um, Saruman into the woods. And Bayorn um, came through for me, proved his, um, proved his worth and killed... Alongside Bilbo. Yeah, Bilbo and Bayorn, um, murdering team, um, charging in and um, I think Bilbo did a wound on him, didn't he? He did, yeah. pretty, which is cool. Um, and Bayorn eventually managed to kill Saruman, which is cool. And importantly for both the game and for my uh, my designs on the wind lines. I don't know if I've said this, but whoever kills the most leaders and monsters in the tournament wins with wind lines. Wind -lines. Yeah. Which is all I really care about. Because I don't think I'm going to win. So I'm basically just trying to kill any leader I see. And um, thankfully, it was Bilbo again, wasn't it? Bilbo and Thorin. Uh, Thorin, yeah. Thorin was um, very good. managed to get into, into Lurtz, who was your leader. And it was Bayorn again, who knocked Lurtz down with a hurl. Um, so I was able to kill him. So that was pretty cool. So eventually, um, I managed to win, was it 12 ones? 12 1 in the end. Like 3 for killing your leader, 1 for rape, both being broken, and 7 to 1 guy. The last guy in the middle. Sharku. Yeah, Sharku. <laughs> Last even model, but in the middle was Sharku, who Bard tried to kill, and yep. um, Bayon tried to kill, <laughs> and towards the end, Brando was after him, but he managed to survive. But um, I think 12 1 is a quite unfair. <laughs> but it, it, well, we, it we, felt we, a lot we were both broken, so. I think towards the end though, even though we've both broken, my army's just got the better courage. It's got the better courage, isn't it? Like Fran, Franville, Bilbo, and um, Thorin all being courage six, and Bale being fearless. Just any kind of house. Yeah, it's a really good game. Thanks for always, Tom. Good game. Get, to get another game against you. And I'm doing unexpectedly well. Yeah. Um, the worry for me is that I might have Camille Domanski, I guess, mm -hmm. and they have army so. of filth, which I was hoping to dodge by losing some games. Yeah. We'll come back after lunch. And so here are the final positions at the end of the game. Um, Bayorn has been hunt Bayorn has been hunting um, Saruman's in there with his friend Bilbo um, very successfully. And then in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> cheeky cheeky plug. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, wow. And once again, for the second game running, we have been fighting over a prize we're fighting for. And the actual survivors in the middle are very similar to last time. We've got Thorin, Thranduil, a couple of dwarfs, and an elf, a few elves here. So that ended in an 11 1 uh, victory. 12 1. 12 1 victory, because uh, Shark, who is the last orc standing in there. And so after round two, just had a bit of lunch down here. Um, Sam set up a buffet, which is really good. There he is, the TR himself. Everyone's had a bit of food. Um, really good just to sit down, have a little bit of chat with everyone. He's talking to us into a rush bike like the first. That's great, which is deeply sexy over there. And uh, yeah, it's good to have a bit of food and a bit of uh, downtime. And um, I think Sam's just doing a draw for round three. So um, we're going to head upstairs and um, get a movie. <laughs> Justin, you play Thomas. Yeah, he's coming with his son, Thomas. Oh, you're recording. Yeah. Oh, nice. You can edit that bit out. Alright, yes. And so we're now after round three. We had lunch, we had round three. And I didn't get a player interview because my, my player ran away. Yes. <laughs> Beat him in his mission that badly. You played, said the uh, poor kid running away crying. No, I sleep on the. Aaron Jill, 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 Jill. Um, at Domination and managed to get a win, which I was very lucky at. Yes. And he had to, he had to go early. Yeah, I think his brother's bought him down. Uh, basically, he's got to be somewhere. So they've had to shoot off. So I finished that game a bit early, so yeah. I thought it might be a good chance to talk to Sam Pace, yeah. the TO. Hello. Man. See how things go? Yeah, it's, it's going well. After a, we had one or two blips. Um, what's a blip? What's a what's TO blip? Uh, TO blip is the venue not opening on time. But that was fine, we got set up last week. And then another TO blip, which I'm sure uh, GBHO James will be sympathetic with. It's a spreadsheet error. Oh, not a spreadsheet error. Yeah, not a spreadsheet error, but it's fine, I sorted it. Cool. Um, so we're all on schedule and I'm not stressed. I'm slightly apprehensive that this is going almost too well. Oh, I thought you were saying I'm not stressed, I'm slightly apprehensive. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in that. In, in that grey area, yeah. yeah. It's, it's running too smooth for my liking. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's looking quite smooth, I'd say. So, 
how many um, how many players we got here? Uh, minus. Um, I think we're up to now that of 22. Yeah. 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 Well, I think we did have. Yeah. I think we did have 25. But where the average has just gone. Yeah. I mean, me and myself, I did a great work play. Because you, you have been Yeah, we, we've been filling in. Yes, what you're doing. Doing the ball. Yeah, he's moved out to the ball. He's moved to the ball. Temporary. Temporary? Oh. Breaking news. <laughs> Um, cool, so um, are you starting to think that maybe you need a big event? Because your tournaments are selling out every time. Well, every, I, when we first announced the tournament, I think yes. Yeah, we had a lot of interest, a lot of people, but then as we get closer to it, a lot of people drop out. So we're not actually at the rest we, we, we allow for, we think we 30 in our suites, but also we're at 24 parts. It's a very nice venue. It's, without blowing such up, I think it's one of the best. Yes. Without, yeah, not including like the price we'll get to, they're also. I mean, it's a pub. The service. Yeah. Yeah, the, they've been learning as we've been learning at tournaments, so they're now spot on. You've, you've got that existing relationship. Yeah, yeah, well, we get on with everyone down in the bar, so they're, they're happy to help us, and we're happy to help them. Oh, look who it is. Don't get on the camera, please. Oh, you can Yeah, we're Do enough. She's not going to ruin things. Um, <laughs> Hi Tom. Thank you so much. Super good. Caesar in there. Yeah, your face. Should I get my top three? So, what are people winning today? Uh, so, first place. I mean, it, you can go and watch the prize unboxing on our YouTube channel. Um, it's our six war gamers. Check it out. Yeah, I'm sure you put a link in below. Um, but first. First place is this. There we go. OOT. Yeah. Oop Lego. Oop Lego. Lego two sex men on. This, this is the thing of filming while you're TOing. Constantly cool. Yeah, I mean, you've got some Lego, we've got. Yeah. We have Power. Chinese, Smash Treasure, I'm going to lean over the camera. <laughs> lovely, lovely Smash Treasure. I was lucky enough to win some of this for like a second. Yes, which if you come second this, you'll also win some more. Ooh. But I do believe you're in pole position to currently be winning the Lego, so... Yeah, but I'm about to get smashed up by Camille's Dodge Camille. Yeah. I can presumably Dodge Camille once more, haven't I? Yes. Uh, we have the head for third place. That's nice. I love this. Palace Guard. Yeah. Palace Guard Shield, it's awesome. It's very cool. Yeah. And actually Merkin Elf. And Merkin Elf, yes. Uh, we've got the ever-present ah, Runestone. It's a promise. It is a promise. You've got to come back. You've got to come back. Uh, and then we've got... Someone's nicked. Where's Bard? Someone's nicked Bard. Someone's nicked Bard. Not me. Oh, no, he's there. there. We have Bard with the wind lance, which is what I am desperately trying to win today. Yes. And you're also doing a very good job of that. Because <laughs> this is for uh, whoever kills the most monsters slash generals. And that's very exciting because I thought it's potentially something to do and I don't have this model. And that's a rare combination. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm doing alright. I'm on four, four, four totals after three rounds. Yeah. Um, we have this photo, which is most sporting. We have four mid Sussex dice for an uh, yeah, unknown prize. Uh, and probably my favourite prize. Yeah, very, very cool. Brand new. Best themed army. Uh, yeah, best themed army. Yeah, best army. Yes, yeah, yeah, brand new. Yeah, last week. Mm, it was yes. Right. Some awesome prizes. Yeah. Well, we we we've tried. Awesome. It's alright. Holding it all up. So yeah, lots of lots of fights. And this is just one of our smaller ones. So yeah, it's um, it's cool. That's it. We have two rounds left. Two rounds left. I can let you in on a little secret. The next scenario will either be organisational game of thrones. Oh, the fact is you have to do a. I just feel like doing one of the best of them. Cool. That's exciting. I mean, it won't be spoilers yeah, now. Still that's a nice one. If I do end up against Camille, Lords of Battle, it'll just be super. Yeah. Yeah, be super yeah. yeah well, uh, well, you know, Ryan's happy acceptance. <laughs> do you want a Fredo? You want a Fredo? I'll, I'll gladly take a Fredo and make it Lords of Battle. If you want a bribe, I can... Don't, don't bribe! 
Lord's of Battle. Lord's of Battle. Thanks for turning to us. That's what I'm about. It's not about your integrity. Yeah, definitely not corrupt. It's not going to be Lord's of Battle. <laughs> <laughs> but I will keep all these weapons. Cool, so after round three, I am here for a mini player interview. Join by Mr. Larry Miller. How are you doing, Larry? Yeah, right. Cool, cool. And how are you finding today? Yeah, it's been good. First these first that I haven't played Ed. It's the first. <laughs> How's that going for you? It's alright. Is it refreshing? <laughs> so what have you brought along with you today? Uh, gone for All Foot White Council. All Foot White Council, totally OP. And here they are. So we have, and this is cool, because this is, you know, th granted Thrandall wasn't at Dol Gulder, but he's, he's Hobbit Thrandall, it fits yeah. in. He could have been there. I think Thrandall was in the White Council. And we've got uh, Saruman, Frank, obviously, he's there. And Elrond, and he was there, and Galadriel, scary looking Galadriel there. It's pretty cool. And, whoa, who's this guy? Glorfindel. And I, I think... <laughs> He could have been there. Yeah. Glorfindel could have been there. So you've gone for all foot White Council. This is 750 points. <laughs> How is it working out for you? Uh, one win, two losses. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. One win, two losses. Um, so which game did you win? Uh, it was Domination. You won Domination with five models? Yes, All Hero. All Hero. That's pretty... Oh, All Hero against All Hero? Yes. What, did, what were you up against? Seven Dwarf Heroes. It's really dark. Seven Dwarf Heroes? Yeah, during... During... Thor, Thrain, Thor and Feely Feely. I don't think I've seen the army. It's a uh, T.O. Ah, the Ringer army. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I haven't seen the army, but the Thor's mines. <laughs> I lent Sam that for the Ringer army. Oh, OK, cool. Okay. Um, so you managed to win that. Oh, that, that'd be cool. It's something like Domination when you've got all heroes. Yeah. It's cool to come up against another all hero, so you got a bit of and then you would, I guess you didn't do too well at whole ground and high ground. Uh, no. Presumably just because of numbers. Yeah. Um, who were you playing against? Um, I was playing Craig for it was, uh, whole ground. And it was uh, as of gold, Hunter Rocks. Oh, yeah, I, no, you yeah. were next to me on that, weren't you? The game was over quite quickly, wasn't it? Yeah, I, lost, I, I got everyone on as of, lost the whole lot. Everywhere. Two heroes went down for one because they were knocked over. Yeah. And didn't you play? another game after that. Yes, we did know. Where he took Azog out of his yes. army, is that right? Pretty cool. <laughs> um, cool. And what, when you're playing whole ground and high ground, what have you been fighting over? Uh, well, I have an objective I've made up for this. It seems the only thing fitting. That is so cool. That is Ga a wounded Gandalf at Dol Guldor. And that is based on... Can we guess, guys, which Gandalf's that? It is? The Dol Guldor Gandalf. It's old Gold or Gandalf, so twin pack with Bilbo. Yeah, the one who's just sort of fits for the... Yeah. And there's relatively little conversion work on that, isn't there? Yeah, it's cut in the middle and then... Yeah, you've tilted him up a bit, haven't you? Yeah, the, the left arm's all kind of reposed. Yeah, because he's like that. He's, he's like yeah. that, he says. You can't see this. He's like that. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the other hand doesn't really move at all. Because yeah. um, that's the hand upwards. that's drawing glandering, isn't it? Yeah. That's really cool. And get rid of glandering and then flatten the bottom so it goes flat. And you've done the... Um, I noticed you've done the kind of matching Dol Gordo bases. Well, he's his more Dale, Thranduil. Oh, Thranduil's as well. That's just the lighting in here, I guess. Yeah. But no, it all ties, it ties together really nicely. Is it fun to use? It, it's fun. It's, um, like three rock striking arrow ones over it, underrated. Yeah. There's some things you can do that's ridiculous. And just always being quite upright. It allows him to faint, I guess. Yeah, just charging warriors, just constantly faint. Yeah. And um, another tournament, it meant that I was winning every fight against Sauron. Yeah. He's high fight all the time. Every time, yeah. Which is what you need to do against Sauron. Yeah. But, um, um, obviously, limitations are their, their damage outputs relatively small. Yeah, because it's three attacks, four with Thrandall. Well, the Thrandall on foot against yes. the Horde, yeah. that's at least five attacks. Yeah, and then they're scared to put more people on And he's one of the few that can't charge, who they can charge. Yeah. 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 It's terrible, yeah. So a cool little army, but maybe you've had an unfortunate run of scenarios. Yeah. And I guess it's the sort, because with the scenarios weren't picked beforehand, yeah. there was a chance that you could have dodged those ones. Yes. So I guess you're hoping for Lords of Battle yes. in the last <laughs> <laughs> Of battle. Chomp, chomp your way through. Cool. Well, cheers for chatting to us, Larry, and good luck in your last two games. So, for game four, I have been drawn against. Come here. How are you doing, man? Yeah, not too so bad, not too so bad. Good, good, good. And um, I, brought, I brought my fun army to, to try and have a laugh and unexpectedly won three games. So, I've been played against this filth. What filth? This filth. We have the Goblin King, 
and his minions, lots of minions, with a shaman obviously, with Saruman and the Shadow Lord. Why not? It's not cool. <laughs> and you are here to win your first tournament of the year, yeah? Yes, that's nice. So um, here we are in light about turn two. We've had some great, great big heroics already. We've got Leo on fighting off against the Goblin King. We don't know quite how it's going to go. There's wives on here, apparently there's something to do with Sonara, but we're kind of ignoring them <laughs> as we're having a damn big fight. So um, that's the board on this awesome Kazakh Doom board. And um, at the end of the game, we'll come back and tell you how it went. Yeah. Oh, cool. Got it now. It is. <laughs> and here we are after the end of round four. I'm here with Camille and. Now let's, let's talk about the game first. Let's, let's not give it away. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So it was Warga Nation. I was terrified about playing your day. As yeah. I've said before, I think you were my tip. Because I want to fluff the army. Fluff the army. As we saw. Do you want to say what you got? Uh, so, uh, Goblin King, as always. As always. <laughs> With the Moria Shaman, plus some uh, Ringrave, Shadow Lords, and Saruman with Grima. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry about And like 40 and plus. About 40 yeah, 40 plus. So it was, it was one of, definitely one of the best times here, and I was very worried about it. But we got played about, um, we got played at uh, Morgan Nation. So I actually thought I might have a chance at it, because if the Warriors favoured me, I might be able to get ahead of BPs and possibly take it. Oh, I'm sure. yeah, and, yeah. Like uh, higher fight, the yeah, ones. absolutely, and there's a lot of shielding going on. Yeah, exactly. shielding with a, with a glaive, yeah. and um, the, the scenery helped me as well. The scenery was Casa Doom, so I had lots of little um, gaps. Yeah, I was so you were I couldn't just through. surround you easily. Yeah. Yeah. And it basically, I just thought they, I was after. I think I've said this before. Yeah, I was mainly after the wind lance, so killing the uh, heroes and monsters. Because I thought I'm not going to win the game, so I went straight for the straight no for the goblin, goblin, king. goblin straight king. for the goblin. King. <laughs> <laughs> and I chose Bayon in, even though he didn't come up there. Because it doesn't make a lot of difference yeah. against the other thing, really, yeah, apart from the hell. Yeah. And I think I think I, I won it the first time, didn't I? I had I had Bayon, Bard, and two swords. Yes, you did. And he had and seven wounds. Seven, but you had fourteen. Yeah, because he was trapped. Fourteen, yeah, fourteen so six, dices and six, eight, 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 sixteen. Sixteen attacks. Yeah, yeah. more. Um, <laughs> and I guess Bard was mobilised as well. Yeah, yeah. Like Saruman and Shadow Lord double cast as well. Oh yeah, he didn't strike. Yeah, right. He needs to mobilise. But I managed to do seven wounds, which is pretty good. But only one got through. The yeah, yeah. So and Fury. Yeah. Fury so saved three. Yeah. Yeah, Fury and Blubber, of course, yeah. just And I think four got through to Blubber, but he saved three of them. And then used his face. And then used his face. So I managed to use his face. And then after that, with the Goblin King, nothing went my way. I think yeah. after that, you were constantly immobilizing the heroes. Bayon became a bear. But that's the yeah. second turn, he was out of will. Bard was out of will, yeah. Bard of will. Bayon was out of will. Bayon went out of will, I think, on the second turn or the third turn. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. And then there was a turn where you passed on him and he used magic resistance. And resisted one of my lives. Ah, the second one, my, yeah. the second one, you passed by four, about that. and I couldn't, mo I couldn't resist. He was mobilised, um, and then gradually you kind of moved me down there. But I've got over on the other side. There was a bunch of goblins against Thrandor, but he didn't have fury. Yeah. So I was doing this thing on this side, <laughs> over here. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, Thrandor's terrible there was really helping me because you I couldn't charge, charge me. Really I was going in your guys. And actually, despite the fact it wasn't going well with Gorky, I started. Think, hang on, if I just get lucky on this with a couple of wards, I might take this. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't know, uh, amalgamation wards come on all around the board like they do in whole ground. Uh, they come on every so turn. I, think I, I killed the first two wards. You killed the first two. I was ahead. You were 2 0, and then I leveled it to 2 yeah. And I suddenly thought, you're probably quite unlikely to kill Thorin, and I'm nowhere near breaking. Yeah, so actually, seven, if, if, I can, if I can kill a ward or two and break it, why do it? You went into the last turn. And it was 3-2 to you at the start of the last turn. And then all hell broke. Right. <laughs> and I think um, I killed a wild, so I went to 3 all. Then you killed a wild with Saruman, so I went to 4-3, I think. This probably won't have to love this grand deal. Brandor was fighting, he was fighting a right in combat against a wild, and he fucked so he failed. He didn't kill the guy and didn't get to move on. Then a wild killed your goblin. He broke you. So that gave me 3 VPs, and I jumped on. And then in pretty much the last to the game, the Goblin King fought against Bilbo, barged him out of the way, yes. and then charged him to Thorin, and Thorin killed trapped. Thorin, yeah. and like rendered him, and slaughtered yeah. Thorin, and that then meant that you jumped to, it went to 8-6, so if you hadn't killed Thorin, it was 
six five to me. You killed Thorin the last turn with eight two. The last turn. Like, oh! Turn over. But um, it was an awesome game. So it obviously went to you. An awesome, awesome game. And I was genuinely like, I went into it thinking, there's no way, there's no way I'm going to come through this. And actually got really close. So, but the most annoying thing, I think I'm sure you've got the key. So that might well put me out of the running for the win. Everyone hates Blubber. Yeah. Damn Blubber. He would have died. Huh? Four yeah, moves on him. Four moves on Blubber. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so yeah, and it also obviously probably stops any chance of being with the title. So I'm three, so we'll have to see what the last game holds. But also, you got three Freddos. Yeah, I got three Freddos. the most anyone's I, got. Eddie, I'm two already. <laughs> I think so far, um, one person got one, another person got one, and then someone got none. So three Freddos, well done. The most Freddos anyone's got so far. Let's see what happens in round five. And um, yeah, so we're now off to play the final round where you're still winning. Yeah, on table one right now. So good luck with that. I hope I win. <laughs> okay, so come on, here we are at the end of round five, and after uh, tumbling down the tables after being beaten by Camille, I've made, I've get drawn against Mr. Craig Springer. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Hugh? Yeah, pretty good. And we are entering the last game, which is at half six, I think. It's quite um, it's crazy late. Like, uh, crazy late like for, for a school night. Um, but what's quite cool, it's a good way to end the tournament from, from my point of view, is it's a quite a fluffy army. Um, it's a Azog's Hunters Force. So there's Azog, there we go, there. we've got Azog, we've got Bold, and a bunch of Hunter Orcs. It's a really nice matchup against the um, Battle of Five Army stuff. Quite dramatic. But we, we have some small concessions in here because we do have a Shaman and a Taskmaster, um, albeit converted to Hunter Orcs. So um, a bit of a competitive edge there, but it should be a good last game. So yeah, it's going to be nice and close, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's got to say it's Lords of Battle. So um, a lot of death dealing on both sides, I think. And um, we'll come back. Back um, after the game, probably. Yep, definitely. And so here we are at the end of that game, which was awesome. Amazing. <laughs> I was just like, it's just like breathless. It was like end to end combat. Yeah, so we were, um, as I think we said, that was Lords of Battle. Um, I think we set our stalls up from the start when you, you just charged everything in on turn two. It had to be done. Yeah, I think, I think, so. I think Azog charged Thorin in turn one. Yeah, and then uh, just like the film, Thorin shanked him. <laughs> just like the film. It was, a, it was the inevitable heroic strike off. <laughs> Whichever one loses is going to die. Yeah, the only thing we were missing was the ice. Yeah. Other than that, it would have been perfect. Yeah, so it was more like the end of Battle of Five Armies rather than the yeah. end of Unexpected Journey. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, um, Bilbo didn't quite get on him. The whole idea was the Bilbo Thorin tag team, like the end of the first film. You know, to half his five, I didn't imagine. No. You borrow me? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Come back in a second. Yeah, there we are back. Um, indeed. So, yeah, that was, that was the plan to get him on. But that didn't happen. And then we just had that, that epic combat to see. Whoever loses this is gonna die. Dude, that is the funniest game I've played in ages. Like, just end turn banter and just <laughs> combat everywhere and everyone dying. So Thorin got the edge in that one. Both got to six. Thorin killed Azog, which was good. That's pretty good. Well, good for you, not yeah. me. Got a mic from that. Um, Bold, meanwhile, then Shrouds over a couple of turns of combat. So actually, yeah. he's got a mic from that. So, combat. And then it took a two or three turns to kill uh, Bard as well. Yeah, then he chased down Bard and killed him. So he was getting my push back. It's about for that. Yeah. And you had a taskmaster. Yeah, it sounds a little bit cheeky there, maybe, but but how? I mean, every everyone. I think we were talking about the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve in total. Yeah, with, with his own and then the three ones and the one the other. Yeah, he's the twelve. Had twelve mine. And he killed. Didn't he only kill the hero? He killed. Uh, so his kill count was four models. <laughs> So two of them were heroes, and then two standard, standard guys. Um, the process. Bill, Bill got really down by a wild, which yep. is fairly horrific. Um, yep. Just one charge of wild. Yes, yes, Sam. Um, and then it went a bit. Playon was doing a great job at the other end of the line, just ripping. Like, well, it's it, it a mixture of my Taskmaster and my um, Shaman with Fury. Fury helped yeah. loads as well. And the banner. Okay, you saved oh loads. yeah, yeah. The banner, yeah. So you, you had these kind of this magical little triangle in the middle of the banner, the Shaman and the um, task and stuff, keeping your army in it. Yeah. So that when you did play, it didn't make much of a difference. Um, but Bayorn had done a great job for me of with the Wild Riders. And so inevitably then, I think, it was Bayorn heading towards Bolt. Yeah. And in one turn, we both called a heroic combat. With Bayorn and with Bolt, you, you won the roll Yeah. and then charged Bayorn. Yeah, and if I'd have won it, I would have charged Bolt. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty much down to that one. And then they fought for about six turns. You fight for one turn, though. Or was the game already over before they yeah, fought? Game, uh, game was already over before we fought. So we, but we said we we added up the points. And no, they had one round. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But neither killed the other. Of course, the wound. 
Yeah. Equals two wins. Two wins. First time, yeah. And then we called it game. Yeah, we called it there. 31-23 yeah. yeah. to me. To you. So I'd come through mainly based on the all. But I have more fun. We just said we carry on. We've got to carry on with it. And then basically just made it um, bold v mayor. We must have played for six. Easily six turns. Easily. Gradually, the rest of my army wiped out the orcs. And now I just thought, let's let's go and watch it. A ring of death. Yeah, we'll show you the ring where the rest of my army watch this um, fight play out. And he had a mic point again, didn't he? So he yeah. broke strike. And then he'd get it for free because of the task. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it and took, a, it took a little while. And I think I, I won one combat and did one wound on him. Yeah, and then I won two and then failed to actually wound you at all. At least two, maybe three. Probably, yeah, even that. Yeah, because he needs five to win by And I was rolling like ones, twos, threes. It was just like, really, can't even work lighting it up. And then finally, in the uh, last round, I managed to win it. When you're out of my finally, the down task was dead. I managed to win the fight, and I did the two wounds needed and took the whole game. I had no idea. The first one, you rolled, so you won the combat, and then you rolled, your, you went you went uh, rending, but you rolled him individually and rolled a one, one, two, didn't you? Yeah, that was good. And then you went here again, and that's when you shanked him on the, on the final one. Final so they took him out eventually. So that was all for the um, the drama and the fun, but um, that's kind of why you play the game, really. Yeah. It's, uh, so yeah, it's probably the best game I've played today. Just Thanks, for man. the banter yeah, and it was great, nice theme ended as well. Like, you got bold v Bale on the book. Awesome. Yeah. And and obviously Azog versus uh, Azog v Thorin. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I brought this on. I was like, I'm hoping there's a um, like Azog battles on. Had to be done. Yeah. Had to be done. Yeah. So cheers for that. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, and you you got some Freddos. You got three Freddos for them. Heroes chocolate for the win, yeah, which is the joint top from the day. Mm -hmm. You and Camille both killed three. Mm -hmm. well so how does that? How does that finish your tournament? Loved it. Um, so last tournament I done with these guys, I got the wooden spoon, and this time I've finished about four. So uh, are you on four wins? Or yeah, four. Uh, three wins. Uh, three wins. Uh, three wins. Yeah. Yeah. So I now think I might. I could podium now. I've just got four wins. But definitely, uh, it's me, me and you and the table next to us were playing for the best. Yeah. Is anyone lower? Was on three wins. And got yeah, you got that. Maybe a second or third. That'd be quite cheeky. That'd be really cool. It might be fun. I'm just happy I finished top half actually. From going yeah. from wooden spoon to top half, I'm over the moon. So that was awesome. Cheers so much for the uh, game. Yeah, amazing game, man. Amazing game. And um, yeah, we will uh, just show you how the game ended now. And then probably come back in the awards area. Yeah, brilliant. And so there are the final positions. Well, the final position is more, <laughs> more that, to be fair. Yeah, but you can see these, these guys could all have charged onto pole for the last few turns. But they decided to um, to watch instead and see what happened. Thorin could have gone in if the F1 had gone down. But um, I think it was more cinematic than that one. So yeah, that was the way that final game ended and we're now waiting for the final results. Okay. Have you got your box? Sam? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're not giving that away, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spot right. <laughs> like, you need it for this battle coming up? Or? <laughs> All right, we're going to do wrap this up nice and quick. Are you recording? Okay, um, thank you for coming. Um, pretty good turnout at the end. So 24, but well, obviously a few people dropped out, so in the end, finished with 22 people. Um, let's go straight to the prizes then, I'll do thank yous. Starting with the wooden spoon, um, I don't think you want a game all day, so give a big round of applause. That is Alex. Woo! Woo! You take my money from last year. Nice. And you get a friend who kind of donated from David over. Thank you. I, think I would say well played. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving up to the Bard Prize, which was hotly contested. There was one person on five general monster kills, and there were two people on six. Now the tiebreaker was Wargs killed, and the person who won this killed 18 Wargs. Wow. And that is Mr. Thomas Ashton. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, the Freddo's mine, mate. <laughs> You keep the Fred or I'll have the bar. <laughs> Alright, swiftly moving on to best themed army. Um, again, this went down to a TO um, tiebreaker. And a special mention to Larry, who also had six votes. So well done, Larry. Woo! Yeah. A lot of people got one to give us a round of applause. We'll be right.
Ja, vi. Very much deserved. Uh, right. We have a random spot prize because I have some Freddos, and that is the most VP scored by any one player throughout the five games. Now, this person, I'm just going to open it up, was about 30 ahead of everybody else, but wow. didn't even make. Uh, oh, he did make the top four. Uh, with 124 VPs, Mr. Chris Dan. It's on film and everything. <laughs> My friend. Right, into the good prizes. Starting with third place. After leading for 90% of the tournament, he fell at the final hurdle. Mr. Oh. Camille Domatsky. Woo! My place, sir. I'm buddy. Now into second place. Going with four and one. With 85 VPs and seven. Total points. Just stay in a boat. Woo! 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 treasure and the Woo! 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 Top prize, first place, going 5 0, which I think we'll all agree for his first tournament is absolutely outstanding. And scoring the second highest amount of VPs on the way is Mr. David, David Brown. Woo! Thank you. Um, it's two dice, and there's also. I already got one. I think you have two Freddos. Well, thank you very much. Do you <laughs> oh, well, what? Two Freddos? We didn't agree to that. And who would like this? This is going in the raffle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that is the end. Um, thank you for coming, especially giving a round of applause to Ian, because he's come all the way from Manchester. Yeah, a big thank to Richard, the manager, and the kitchen staff, and the bar staff, so we'll give them a round of applause. And guy who's been organising, Craig, he's got the camera up for that one. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm st still not sure when our next one will be. You need to ask with Tom for that to give me some dates. Yes, yeah, Tom. Yeah, yeah, Tom. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Mr. League organiser. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for coming. We'll a you massive thanks yeah. to you, yeah. Sam. Zoom. Zoom. Ooh, there he is. And so here we are at the end of all things. Um, we are now back down the, in the uh, bar having a well earned drink with um, Tanya and Craig and Sam, that guy's name, and Jay. <laughs> and Tom, Tom's there somewhere, but he's, um, he's, he's literally just texting. He doesn't, he doesn't want to sit with us. So I'll just go back to your texting. <laughs> go back to your texting. Yeah, whatever. There he is, look, look him. Texting, 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 texting. Um, did we have <laughs> Did we have a lovely day? Mm. Mm. Yeah, now I've sat down and talked about it, it was very, very tired. I'll chat to you in the car. Very good day? Yeah. Koteo, Ko, 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 Tio, Tiko. Koto. 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 Yeah. Sam's right hand man. Yes. Did yeah, you do very, all right? Very important right hand man. Yeah. Couldn't do it without him. Oh. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd have to run around and do everything. Run around like a headless chicken and play and do all the rules queries. Some Sterling, Sterling Coteo in there. Daniel, good day. Good day. How'd yeah. you get on today? Uh, I'm in for all three wins that's and two losses. That's why I wanted I'm in for Yeah. I don't think I saw that. What did you have with you? Uh, gone dark. Frayne, Foreign, Swarlin and the Grimham captain. That's awesome. First time, it, probably the only time you'll ever get a run out. The Grimham <laughs> captain, yeah. Did you use um, Duba Car? Uh, no, I didn't get it very much. Oh, that was the one I really wanted to hear. I would have used Duba Car if you'd let me. Oh, I would have screamed it, you know. You could have screamed it anyway. It's part of the cool You never know who might give it to you. <laughs> um, but that's quite a cool army then. Yeah, Three game, wins though. Yeah, first game was against the uh, tournament winner. And uh, it was actually quite a close game, so I was quite happy. Cool. Three wins. Okay. And that's, so you're, you're definitely, your, your rate of wins is improving? Yeah, it's definitely getting better. Yeah. I'm not going to get bottom every time. Awesome stuff. So it's a challenge for the best dwarf player, best error ball player. And you're probably furthest, do you think? For this um, Ian come from Manchester. Ian came from Manchester, Sam. Yeah. 
<laughs> he didn't come. Well, I mean, he did. He did come, but in that sense, he didn't travel all the way from Manchester. Better. And where's Tony? Where are you? Um, from from the 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 oh, okay, fair enough. You came, you came the first of anyone who's sitting here. Well, well done, this. How was your first experience at tournament? I think he was in this season. I really enjoyed it. It's brilliant. It's fun. It's oh, good nice. that it's in a pub, that's, right? Yeah, it's very happy. It's a really nice pub as yeah. well. Yeah. Right. you get to see all the spoilers? So, sadly, unfortunately, the kitchen was closed, so we're going to probably have a late night Mackey D's trip, and I'm sure you'll join uh, myself and Jay and Tom in the car, but Tom will be texting and um, ignoring the Weatherspoons. I quite fancy some pop grounds. It's a nice one as well. It's a nice Is that where they don't spit in your beer? <laughs> but yeah, we'll come back then. So Sam, um, any final words? Well done from you. Uh, yeah, come, come to the next one. <laughs> come to the next one. Yeah. Always strong. I don't know when it is yet. Keep an eye on the Facebook page. Cool. And yeah, thank you everyone for coming. It's been very good fun. It has indeed. Yes. Here we are, a very important point in any uh, wargaming tournament. Um, the, the tournament's ended, we just saw us sitting there in the pub. Unfortunately, the kitchen had closed, a disaster. It's quite hard to some pub grub because the food in that place is amazing. And so, we did the classic thing, Mackey D's. And so, having a bit of grub, what, what you got back there, Jay? Got some fries and a McFlurry. You may notice as well that Jay's been demoted since the last time we saw us in the car because um, this guy turned up. Classic girl. Pushed the back seat. <laughs> Wife's got to sit in the front, really. <laughs> Um, so Tom, did, did you have a good tournament? I did, it was very good. Oh, I'm always well, um, good at East Grinnell. Always good at East Grinnell. We'll have a bit of chat about that on the way home. What mm -hmm. have you got there? The same as you. Large beer McMill, mm -hmm. Coke. All did the same as me. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Trying to say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to devour this. It is 10 past 10. It's a late finish. I'm going to finish this, have a bit of grub, and drive home and maybe have a bit of a chat about um, how we got on. Mm. See you then. And so here we are. On the drive home, yeah. uh, filling McDonald's. Yeah, that's good. So, um, good tournament, chaps. Yeah, very good. Yeah. yeah. Tired now after a long day. Yeah, very uh, tired. We're at uh, 11 o'clock. Still half an hour away from uh, Jay's. So, up at half six. Back, back at around half eleven. Long day. Yeah. Well worth it though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Tom, it's your first first time with your camera here. Uh, what, did you, what did you bring along? I brought. Um, I had Aragorn, King of Iceland, on horse. So that was all of my points. <laughs> um, I had Pippin, obviously Pippin for life. The Gondor version, who's rubbish. I had uh, Captain of Minas Tirith, and I had Beragond. It was meant to be a black gate themed force. A real cheese list, a real cheese list, and. That was Berrigan had some Citadel Guard, and then Aragorn and the Captain both had Minas Tirith, um, so just shields, shield spears, and a few bows. And then I also had an Avenger Bolt Throw, three crew for the lols, and Swift Reload for the lols, yes. So, what were your hopes for the day? Um, to use the Bolt Thrower in Aragorn to go general hunting. Ah, because of the Wind Lance Prize, yeah. Now, I think we've discussed this that every time you killed a general or a monster, uh, whoever killed the most would win barred with the wind lance, which is something I was after today. And then what else? Oh, for Pippin to do something cool. Yeah. So, how did you get on in your five games? Did you? Did, it, did these things happen? So the bolt thrower was only good against one game, and that was against the Jay. <laughs> yeah. It's the first game. Yeah. yeah. First game of the day, yeah. Uh, the bolt thrower managed to kill seven of your ten uh, rangers. I think it killed more. Excellent. Uh, Efficient. Yes. Just as funny second time around. Yeah. Um, 
So, were there any standout moments in that one? Many. 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 It's probably worth us apologising at the moment for the fact that stuff's got suddenly darker. Yes. We've changed roads. <laughs> there was no street lights here, but uh, hopefully there's a painting with you. <laughs> yeah. So, anything? Yeah, big. I killed Gilglad yeah. um, in one round of combat with Aragorn, and he caused eight wounds. Eight on. wounds? Eight wounds. That's spectacular. In one go. Um, that's eight dice to wound, all oh, four yeah, forces. And draw totally OP. Yeah. <laughs> he then proceeded to kill Elrond and New Galadriel in that game as well. So it's pretty impressive. What a beast. <laughs> Did um, he take out anyone else throughout the day? He took out a troll chieftain who had for combated into him. Yeah. Heroic indeed. Yeah. Um, he did three wounds on the Troll Chieftain in that one turn, but the Troll Chieftain saved his fate, so he had to go back and kill him on the next go. Poor, poor love. Yeah, the Troll Chieftain couldn't take it. Um, what else did he kill? Oh, he killed Elendil in one go as well, turn one. Just take that. Take that, Dad. Yeah. Well, not Dad, but Dad's dad's dad. Dad's dad. We'll be here for a while, great content. <laughs> um, and a fell beast, did you take out a fell beast as well? Yeah, I took out a fell beast as well, but that was with normal Gondorans. Not Aragorn? Not Aragorn. That's pretty spectacular. Just the Gondorans stuff with that. How'd you raise that? Um, by rolling one. Strong, yeah. strong. Yeah. Cool. So that sounds like you were killing quite a lot of heroes and It monsters. does indeed. Were you rewarded in I to do such a thing? I was rewarded. He won the Windlands! I did win the Windlands. You got the Windlands. It's kind of amazing, which is what um, I was after. What a lovely model. Yeah, it's a fantastic model. But again, it's sort of thing. Well, it's his brown coat, you know, <laughs> shooting the attack and later. <laughs> Not that it ever turned up in the film. No. Why? Why is it there? <laughs> Why give him the arrow? Why? Why mention it? Yeah. Why bring it up? <laughs> I don't understand. Why, Peter? <laughs> um, oh, dear. And yeah, so you, you killed the most. You killed, is it six? Yes. And Camille was also on six. Yeah, but I killed more wargs in Warg Nation, which was the tiebreaker. Okay. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. <laughs> I did my best against Camille. I was going to win, but I got your win last. Yeah. Um, so thank God Sam rolled for Warg Nation for the scenario, yeah, otherwise he yeah. wouldn't have had a tiebreaker. <laughs> um, so that was pretty cool. So uh, you got six, Camille got six. Yeah. I managed to get five. Arr! So if I'd taken out that damn Goblin King, I would have won it, but well yeah. done, sir. If you had an Orchrist. Yeah, if I had an Orchrist. Who wants Orchrist when you can have another two more late down yeah. guard? <laughs> um, so that's cool. <laughs> and Jay, back there, you're the only one that people can see. Yes. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you were hoping to win three. Three out of five was my pre-game. And person. how did you get on? And I, I achieved it. One, three, lost two. It's pretty yeah. good. Pretty good. Ended up finishing fifth in the tournament as well. Yeah, um, I was 15th. Top I got the win lines. <laughs> you got a win one. <laughs> More than true. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, top 10 was my aim. Uh, so, yeah, got, got top 5, which could be more proud. Yeah, very, yeah. very much. Yeah. Um, any standout moments for you in your game? Yeah, there were a couple of standout moments. Actually, in the game against Tom, the very first game, where he had obviously King Aragorn, uh, King Elisar, and throughout the whole game, he was just marching to the side of the board, avoiding Legolas because he knew. The dreaded water hit was gonna come. <laughs> and then the one turn Aragorn gets into range, water hit, get a six, kill the horse. Yeah. Nice. Um, so so yeah, Aragorn went right to the far corner before charging, just to stay out of Legolas's periphery. <laughs> when he got there, it's a horrible so, yeah. Yeah. And The only other standout I can remember was, was in Bog Nation again, where my opponent managed to trap the Wild Wild Chieftain, um, managed to win the fight, do two wounds on it, he was left with one wound. And obviously, has no fate as well as the scenario. And the following turn, I won priority, managed to water the Legolas, killed it, and that got me three VPs, which essentially won me the game. And um, just got a big moment in, in my games as well. Just Legolas being just Legolas. Legolas <laughs> being Legolas. Being Legolas. Legolas. Yeah. Classic Legolas. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, very good tournament. Yeah. Really good. A lot of, lot of great games. I had a very good game against Chris Dan. Um, we had a gentleman's <laughs> agreement in the game where we both agreed because he'd also taken elves and he also had Galadriel with a couple of you know, special shots. Yeah. We agreed neither of us would channel or cast Gladding Lightman at all <laughs> during the whole game. That's awesome. Which, from his part, was really well well done to him because I did have eight more bow shots and it turned out it didn't go too well for him. Um, <laughs> Yeah, well done, you're, you're an idiot, that's all. Pretty much. But it did work much. out for him overall, didn't it? It did work out for him overall because he didn't end up winning the game. Ah, oh, fair um, It's all a cunning ruse. It, yeah. it was, it was all, all part of his plan, but overall, yeah, a great tournament. And, yeah. yeah. And I, um, 
you've seen all my little um, post barrel things, you know I ended up getting uh, four wins and one loss, which I was over the moon with. Thank you very much. So I was proper excited about that. Um, and because of that, I ended up finishing the second. Last, the last one, yeah. yeah, I can't believe that. Cause, yeah, to, like obviously, if I had beaten Camille, then I'm I've got a different opponent in game yeah. five, which I might have lost to. Him. But um, yeah, I was kind of blown away to get four. So finishing second, continuing my very good run at East Grinstead yeah. tournaments. And as a result of that, I managed to win um, some more Smaug's gold, yeah. which is cool, really cool so prize from where. You're eventually going to fill up your games room with, with Smaug's gold. gold. Yeah, very similar to um, the treasure pile of Thor at the moment, my 10 coins. 10 coins. But I was well made up with that, um, which was pretty cool. And um, also, even more delighted to win Best Theme Derby! Is it the one I wanted? <laughs> um, the one I was talking about, some yeah, your album wasn't knows. particularly themed, was it? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what, 15 hours ago, I think. Is that right? What's this strange, what are though? you doing? I was about to reverse it to me on a roundabout, roundabout, which is not how the roads work. So. Um, yeah, so that was, that was awesome because there was some great stuff there. And I know Larry, Larry did really well with his White Council. I think that was the. Um, I think we were both on the same number of votes. Yeah, he had a Gandalf objective mark, yeah. which was done a little um, player interview with him, which is awesome. Got that on there. Um, but yeah, so thank you to anyone who did vote for me for that, that was absolutely awesome. And the book is amazing, I haven't looked through it properly yet, but it's the arts book that we were talking about, the, yeah, the new one that's cool. just come out. Um, so yeah, I was totally made up with that, and I got a couple of Freddos, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my own Freddos back. I so, got yeah. your Freddos, thank yeah. you, enjoy. Um, and yeah, in my, the Freddo contest for me was a tie between Camille and Craig, <laughs> who both killed three of my heroes. Um, because Craig took out um, Bilbo and Bold killed Thrandall and Bard in the last game, he was a monster. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was awesome, that was quite good fun trying to encourage people to slaughter my arm. But yeah, so um, that's that. We are currently eight minutes away from um, Jay's mm -hmm. house to drop him off and um, we're going to go home. We should get in at about half midnight, something like that, half eleven, and call it a night I think. Yeah. But yeah, That's awesome sweet. tournament I think, overall. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much to Sam and Craig yeah. and everyone else at Mid Sussex. Absolutely, we've put on a great event as always, always good fun. And um, we very much look forward to the next one. Yes. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I imagine it'll be relatively long by the time everything sticks together, maybe about an hour and a somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half possibly. But it's um, not just you banging on it. No, it's, it's mainly other, it's me with other people. It's kind of player like interviews yeah. intermingled. Okay. Yeah, a little, um, it's like a little tournament review cool. inside the video. So um, we probably won't be doing a tournament review for this one because this has been it. We hope you've enjoyed this look into our kind of what the day's been like today. Until next time, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Oh, it's good. It's professional. Pledge to Jamie on Patreon. Support your Hobbit hobby. And, and happy, happy strategy, strategy battle, battle gaming. gaming. That was good. Yeah. Boom. It's as if we planned oh, it. Three tickets, <laughs> Boom City. Arrival now. <laughs>
home and a cup of tea? Yeah. Let's do it.